I'm Cynthia Yakushev. I would like to talk to you about the lower self and the higher self. When you are faced with a difficult life situation and you feel like you've been knocked down, you are getting a reaction from your lower self. This means that your lower self is dominating you at the present moment. A life situation has struck you like a stab in the heart. You feel the pain and it leaves an emotional imprint. You feel hurt, you think about it, perhaps throughout the day you ruminate about it, and it keeps your momentum in your negative lower self. Now, I want you to imagine martial arts and one guy who knocks down another guy. The one guy who falls to the ground feels the hit, but bounces back in 20 seconds. We can say that his physical resilience is 20 seconds. He doesn't give it time, nor does he absorb the pain so that it's contained within him. Let me explain. Say, for example, you lose your job, and it takes you six months to bounce back to normal life and get another job. This seems like a really long time, but it is realistic. Some people have a longer resilience than other people. A long resilience will never serve you to your best interest. Six months to bounce back is too long, and it not only affects you, but it affects others around you. Why does this happen? Resilience, by definition, is how long it takes for you to recover or bounce back to your normal strength of living. When life gets you down, you're going to need resilience. Think of the martial arts person that gets knocked down. As soon as they hit the ground, they bounce back like they're weightless. Their resilience comes from the discipline involved in learning a martial arts skill. They have learned to think as a winner, a champion. When obstacles come, they pass through them like chopping a block of wood in two pieces. They do not allow the lower self to hold on to the knockdown like it was an anchor that would keep them from bouncing back up. The lower self is activated by life situations that leave emotional imprints that scar us as effectively and deeply as a stab to the heart. Our higher self will always support our well-being. This includes emotional weightlessness through 20-second resilience. The higher self will not allow you to be anchored down by emotional pain because it does not serve your best interest. Your higher self is activated when you choose to let go of discomfort, perceived attacks, unfair criticism, rejection, and that's self-rejection, abandonment or self-abandonment, or perceived violations against your self-worth, your dignity, your identity. You are in control of validating your self-worth, and you have been since birth. No one and nothing defines your self-worth. You are worthy simply because you exist and not by what you have or can give to others. When you were born, you were worthy just because you existed. You had nothing that has not changed. You are worthy and your higher self is 100% aware that you are worthy. Your lower self will always try to steal that fact away from you and it will succeed if you give it permission to succeed. Your higher self will always be available to you to remember that truth. Until next time, bye-bye.